Got my Granville, Granville, Granville Island shirt they sent me a while ago. going down people of the world my name is redbeard and you're watching yet another daily drink vlog thank you so much for joining me for the beer of the today we've got something interesting first new beer from this brewery i've seen in quite some time at least it's shown up here anyway this is a can of watermelon lager by the granville island brewing company out of vancouver british columbia coming in at five percent abv Got my Granville, Granville, Granville Island shirt they sent me a while ago. I got a Granville Island glass that I cannot recall where that came from, but I got it. I'm going to use it. Um, they seem to have changed up their logo a little bit since this and this. It's like just Gib, Gib, Granville Island Brewing, Gib. It's kind of weird. I think I prefer this a bit better, but you know. Things change with the times and stuff. Watermelon beers. I think the only other one I've had is the Wind Shear or something it's called from Barnstormer Brewing. Another brewery I haven't had anything new from in quite some time. But let's crack this open and let's see what we got. Watermelon on its own? No. No. No thank you. Watermelon juice or like watermelon flavored things? Sometimes a bit of yeah. So with that in mind see what we've got interesting i'm not really sure the actual style of glass that this is but obviously holds a can of beer pretty perfectly that is really clear crystal clear i'm seeing no anything of any kind obscuring looks nice a few fingers of very white kind of fluffo fluffo head low a while since I've seen some head low. jello -y head. That smells like a lager. I'm not getting any kind of fruity anything in that aroma. Just some of that kind of typical sweet malty lager aroma. It's, maybe there's something in the taste? Give her a shot. It's in the taste, but I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of that taste. The way the watermelon flavor mixes with kind of the multi flavors of the lager, that's. That's a bit unusual. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's been a while. Say so cheers to you freaking people over at Granville Island. Many thanks for the stuff you sent me like four years. It's been a long time. It's a bit less of a shock to my palate with that second drink, but still. It's not, it's not as nicely balanced as I'd like it to be. Like, just the flavors aren't having a party in my mouth. They're basically having a fight in my mouth. I don't know. I feel like the watermelon flavor might be artificial or something. It's got a real, kind of like a chemical, little bit of a lingering in the back of my throat going on. Uh, born from small batch, bright crisp lager with a subtle hint of your favorite summertime taste. It's not my favorite summertime taste. Um, return for refunds, Granville Island Brewing, go to gib.ca and you'll find Granville Island where'd it go damn it I closed the tab like a fool um one second I can fix myself here gib.ca if you make me put in my damn date again I swear to god that's right okay there gib.ca 
Um, back to this. I'm not seeing ingredients, which is unfortunate. And... B18051. Seriously? That's your date code? Oh, it contains barley. There's your ingredients right there. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh, this isn't living up to the uh, stuff I've experienced from you in the past, Granville Allen, to be honest. This feels like some mass-produced, just... stuff to make some summertime money kind of thing. Not really working for me. I would say. I want. I believe I enjoyed that uh, watermelon beer from Barnstormer. I'm not sure if it was a lager. It might have been a Gulch or a Blonde Ale or a other kind of beer. I can't recall. But uh, I'm gonna take a little break. And hopefully, get the rest of this down. Not a big fan. <clears throat> it's just really <clears throat> kind of chemical forward flavored. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Except for like 3.22 out of 5 on tap with 190 ratings overall. So very <clears throat> kind of middle of the road on there too. Drink number last. Granville Island, your watermelon lager. Three. I'd give it a four, but ingredients. End date. We're both missing. So that's how we roll on that. If you've had this particular beer, let me know your thoughts in the comments because the video is now done. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Bell notification, blah, 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 blah. Back with something like this tomorrow. Peace out. That was unfortunate. I really wanted to like that beer. I'm sorry, Grendel.